Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich, in which we just beat up the American Union state, and now we're left between the Pacific states, us, and New England, but Iceland requests aid from us. The Icelandic government has approached us looking for military assistance. The waters off their coast are becoming more like a war zone every week as the Coast Guard and Republican Navy clash against each other each other's fishing ships. Without our protection, the COD deal we have been running with them could, could wither away as the Republican Navy could cut off Iceland. They've asked for several vessels to ward off Republican forces. How should we respond? Ask them what they're sending for. Do that. So, Quebec and Flames. So, right at the end of last episode, we did go with full conscription, and now the Quebec people don't like it. Across Quebec, French Canadians have taken to the streets in massive protests against the country's conscription policy. In Montreal alone, a massive crowd filled St. Catherine Street with loud chanting against both the Prime Minister as well as King Edward. It's a reenactment Reenactment of the conscription crisis of 1917. Although this time it seems French Canadians have lost their patience again and again, we were called upon to shed French blood on behalf of English wars in Europe. Quebec Premier Maurice Duplessis has sold a large and angry crowd in Quebec City. We say no when t and tell us we must. Quebec will never be free of English tyranny so long as it is a lapdog to English politicians. I suppose we should have seen this coming, which I did see this coming. Like, I know what's happening. What I care about more, though, is not the scandal, but how to reunify America. But while on his tour of the Dominion of Canada, King Edward has found himself embroiled in a scandal allegedly involving a married Canadian heiress. While there's no direct proof beyond a few blurry photographs, attempts to keep the scandal under wraps have failed and has been on the front page of Canadian newspapers for weeks. The King says his tour will continue, though there are many who say the goodwill previously generated by it has already all but evaporated. How terrible. Crap. And we have this, but I don't want to lose stability and stuff like that for now. I don't see the point of that. All I really care about... Demob oh, we're not going to demobilize. You're, you got something coming if you think we're going to demobilize. Um, but all I care about is unifying America. Because uh, the couple comments said we should make the United States of Canada, which sounds like a really, really cool idea. But at the same time, um, yeah. Quid pro quo? Uh, yeah. I want to unify America because they would be great allies. So, no, if they accept our request to join the Entente, we will turn all American land which we do not claim ourselves or ourselves claim. That's okay. Uh, supporting the Pacific government is gone. That's fine. Hopefully they get some, some sort of an... I mean, we could, we're going to take that next focus to do stuff, but send off the Navy. So today marks the departure of the newly formed Northwest Atlantic Squadron for the Icelandic waters. The fleet is composed of the destroyers HMCS Sterling and Tactician, led by the latter cruiser HMCS Dauntless. Command will be issued from the HMCS Cumberland, which will serve as a flagship. Together, our proud men set sail to protect our trade from these godless syndicals in the home isles, and it's time to send some volunteers to Carlos, Spain. It's been too long, my friends. It's really been too long. How many can we send? We can send a total of dose divisions. Well, I don't really want to send just tanks. But we might be able to, actually. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe maybe one division of tanks. How? Actually, we have some... Well, we do have some Marines. And they're pretty beefy. They're not as beefy as we'd like our boys. But, let's see. Can I add any more yet? I cannot, which sucks. I'll put over here. Ooh, ten combat width. Ooh, I think... You know what, let's go ahead and make him at least 20 combat width for now. That would probably be okay to do. Let's do that, and I'm going to do this. I'm, I want the speed that is offered by tanks, as well as uh, horses. I don't think we have any motorized, so that would be kind of a waste. You know, we got some militia from New England, which is fine. I guess for now, if we really wanted to, we could form like one big old front line against the Pacific States, which we hopefully won't go to war with. But that's okay. So let's go ahead and send these guys over. And they shall be led by... Andrew McNaughton. That would be good. And finally, we're getting down here to help them out. Cool. And they can do that. And let's see. Not enough until we can send over 100 planes to them over there. Let's see. We could send some planes that are already made. But do we really want to do that? Maybe. At the very least, let's see. So we don't have... We've got a good mixture of stuff. Just send them some fighters first. So we're going to make some fighters first, obviously. And 44, how about 40 something? 40 naval bombers, 40 tactical bombers, 40 casts. It really doesn't look like we got a lot. I'm going to send him some casts then. Good enough. Rightio. Good, good, good enough. Both standing by. See what you can do in Western Iberia. That would be for the best. Actually, over Madrid. So, I don't want to click on that. Not going to. Can't change me. Can't make me do that. Cancel Lundley's. Over here, if we don't do this, we lose stability. It's only 5%. I think the 5%. If we select it, we get more political power, which is okay. We could suppress the exiles high, low. That's okay. A couple more comments. Um, Right now, the borders, yes. I know. The borders right now are god-awful. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'll say it's ultimatum. The world is on a precipice. That's fine. Uh, it's also recommended that I give Panama 
to Costa Rica to make things look a little nicer? I mean, we could. I'm going to wait until we get America reunited because I do want to give America the Panama Canal again sometime. I think that would be a good thing to do. Quebec and Flames, great. Excavation 3, which is even better. Uh, good, that's good, 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 good. Probably get some more fuel. Let's go ahead and get some more fuel refining. That would be pretty ideal, but... Oh, we're already doing that. Uh, let's get quarter pounders first. We don't want to produce garbage. But yeah, I want to wait until we have at least America reunited. So, a government urged to attack. King Edward has been active over the last week, or last few weeks, loudly and publicly demanding to know why an attack on the Union of Britain hasn't already begun. Where we are ready, he proclaimed. What's more, the cynicals have been prepared every moment longer than we wait, so we shall never be more than ready than we are right now. Come what may think, the attack must begin. A large number of Canadians agree with him. It appears as newspapers across the country have sp splashed. Begin the attack across the front pages for days now. I'm not going to attack now. No. We're not ready yet. And I want to make sure we get at least Carlos Spain under us. Eventually, there's probably going to be some sort of war down here in Union South Africa. Maybe. We'll see what happens. So, ooh, the authoritarian Democrats. They are in our alliance now, but... Denmark's joined the Reichsback. So be it. So be it. Let's see what happens. They went down this way. Sterling Affairs Act. Complete the recovery. Oh. Regardless, we have to wait. It is not the best time. All hands on deck. Investment. Oh, we can do investments here. We did Canada, French Empire, definitely. Dominion of India, Costa Rica. Do Portugal. Why not? Let's do Portugal. We get some war propaganda, but we don't really need it. Legations, councils. We could ruin the amount of civilian factories that we have now, even though we kind of don't mind it currently built up there. Should have built more infrastructure, but this is still Kaiserreich. Do two. And then do bomb, bomb, bomb. There you go. That'll be nice. Do we need more resources? We need rubber, tungsten, steel, chromium. Steel, tungsten, steel. Oh, we don't have enough political power. Choosing that stuff would probably be actually pretty good to do. The two divisions, two divisions we sent over, which is a great idea. Besides, let Germany focus on the fight for now. We don't have to get involved, especially if they kill each other's ships off. Especially the Donut Aju Boon might join. So the longer we wait, it'll be okay. Just because we already have it here. A guy here, we can wait. I, I think it's just, it's just better off just to wait. We know sort of what we're doing. Sort of know what we're doing. All right, so over here, let's. We gotta get these rid of these guys. Let, let's be real. We just gotta get rid of these guys at this point. You guys come right here. We're gonna make it in a circle man if we can. Maybe cut off Madrid. That'd be kind of cool. How is air superiority? We're doing pretty well here. Shooting, trying to shoot down enemy planes. Go ahead and do that as well. Advanced machine tools. Great, great, great. Anything here? Uh, radar would be nice. Go ahead and grab some more fuel refining, because we don't want to be cut with our pants down. And please, finish up Davy shipping building deals. Please. Actually, that's really good for ship repair speed. Plus 25%. So nice. So nice. Okay, so you guys already have that idea started. Alright. Oh, uh, hold on. I told you you guys to go right here. Where the heck are... Uh, no. Uh, actually, that's a good idea to encircle them right there, but you guys can wait. Come on, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Resource-wise, we still need more gu uh, guns. are fine. Light tanks, support equipment, artillery. Artillery where it's at, go down to five. That's fine. You have enough aluminum, though. Which is kind of good. All right, you guys up out. Let's see if you can do anything here. Can they pierce us? Actually, they can. That's not good. That is really not ideal. Huh. That's okay. Iceland requests scout planes. Government Iceland has requested a release of scout planes to help our squadron better protect their merchant vessels. That's fine. Oh wow, we got encircled right there and maybe died. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Come on, come on. I just want to encircle Madrid. Peace conference? Ah. Oh. That makes sense. Alright, so if you're not going to win, just hold then. See what's going to happen. And if they're not going to do anything, go there. See what you can do. And support the attack. Uh, oh, or just go straight into Madrid. Okay then, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Now they're not—they're obviously not done yet, but uh, I kind of like that. Davy shipping building deal, yes please. Now we can do stuff about Quebec. We gotta wait on that for so. But oh, a union of interests is fully independent. Let's do quid pro quo. We are in we intervened in the American Civil War, and the victors stands there large because of our aid. We hope they agreed with that assessment, and will consider joining our alliance and helping us in return. If they accept to join the Entente, we will return all American lands, which is fine with me. We need the Americans on our side. No matter even if they're recovering or not. I'm kind of waiting. I don't care if this division gets in there. What matters is we get in here. Come on. Get in there before they do. 
No, are you kidding me? How are you faster? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. The horses move faster than you guys. Just kill them off. Come on. I don't want to lose Madrid. That would not be a very good thing. Can I actually get there faster before these guys do? Probably not. Yeah, there you go. That's what I thought. Cool. Hold on to Madrid. What we're going to do is make an encirclement right here. Bop, bop. Right there. How's Germany doing? They are still doing okay. What are you... Horses. Horses. What... I didn't tell you to go that way. I told you to come down this way, please. And they're international, that's fine. Uh, go ahead and just zoom zoom. Zoom zoom. Can they pierce us? No. That's a good thing. That's a very, very good thing. Go, 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 go. Guys, if you help me out, that would be great. New England demands home rule. The New England provisional government, now that has established its military and, military and structure, has demanded that it be granted home rule. Some members of the Canadian government are taken aback by the tone of the demands, seeing as the Canadian government is what enabled New Englanders to avoid the chaos rampant in the rest of America. Although others, perhaps rightly, point out that unless Canada's ambitious, ambition is to govern Americans as colonial subjects, there's no reason to not give New England what it seeks. Grant them home rule. Oh, uh, no, they're too valuable. I kind of like that, but grant them home rule. That's fine. Now we lost them as divisions. Lots of divisions, so be it. Isaac, Equipment Reliance, Advisors, Minutemen. That's good. Uh, oh, there's Autonomous Puppet. Oh, there's still my Autonomous Puppet. Okay, cool. Come on, guys. Come on. Two Sicilies join the right spec. That kind of makes sense. Because I need you guys to hurry up and get there now, 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 now. Speed 6.6 .6 is not bad. We cut them off. Great, kill them off. Help them out with, especially the Bulgarians are here. Russian Republic declared war on the Don Caban. Oh, boy. That is not ideal. Expeditionary forces are called back. Oh, that's okay. That makes sense. Come on. Kill them all. I know that these divisions are actually probably not too bad for them. But the Pacific States of America agree. The American government agrees that our intervention in the war was invaluable. In return, they have agreed to take part in an alliance. Though the reconstruction may take time, eventually the might of the American military will be at our full disposal. We get political power. And they join the Entente. Now, we've lost all these factories, which really sucks. I love these factories. Holy cow. And they join the Entente. Quid pro quo. Whoa, great, a union of interests. Uh, I thought they were fully independent, but maybe not yet. All right, so we got to deal with this. Now we can't go here because the ruling party is not social conservatives. We can suppress the Quebec people, uh, empower the Anglophones. This seems like a lot of fun. I kind of want to do that. Montreal Conference, official bilingualism. Uh, hmm. Hmm. We lose popularity to market liberals. Special status for Quebec. You know what? Let's try the Montreal Conference. If they pop, if Quebec pops out as a unique nation, I'm going to just go to war with them and kill them off and do something else. But we'll see. Suppressing the Quebec would be un-Canadian as well as unhelpful. We must bring them to the table and discuss what it would take to have them take part willingly, not only in this country, but in the wars abroad. I don't mind conceding a few things here and there, but, but let's be real. Like, we have to go to war, like, soon. Ooh, do we need more steel? Oh my god, yes, we lost all that steel. Yes, 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 yes. Invest more steel. Um, probably need more chromium. I'm just going to do new new Quebec. I don't know about that. The Quebec people don't even like us anyways. So, good lord, we need more steel. Uh, retreat. Go, 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 go. Don't let them in, don't let them in, don't let them in. Ah, oh, we did it. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill them off. Great job, guys. Great job. You can just come up down here and help them out. You just come to Badajoz. Badajoz? That'd be great. And I have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Now, this cup is decaf, which is not as strong. Definitely not as strong, but, you know, it's okay. Sometimes you don't want stuff nearly as strong as it always is. If you can, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Any more encirclements? We are gaining on these guys down here, which is a good thing. Very, very good thing. Just go here to here to here. Because we might be able to push these guys out, which would be awesome if we could. Or I could just come to Seville. Let's go to Seville. And if they come over here and try to stamp us out, well, we'll just kill them off in the meantime. No, 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 sir. No, 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 no. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Great. Seville's ours. Uh, Gibraltar would actually would be pretty nice as well. Gibraltar this time of year is a good place to get. Uh, actually, Cordoba. As much as I love Gibraltar. Uh, I guess they're not going to capitulate yet, huh? Nice, beautiful. Come here. Maybe we can help those guys out and kill them off. We'll see what happens. 80%? Return expeditions. Hey, there we go. See, I knew that would happen. Beautiful, my friends. The fall of Gibraltar. 
it is time to put these syndicalist scum in their place. First, we shall cut off Valencia and the southern portions of anarchist Spain. And then we shall do... Put more of this stuff. Oh, somber news. Somber news from Iceland. We received grave news from Iceland today. Overnight, the heavy cruiser HMCS Cumberland experienced a sudden explosion, causing the ship to sink rapidly. The cause of the explosion is not yet known at this time, but the incoming reports at least 300 sailors lost in this tragic incident. Oh, no! Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, wow, we have, like, no political power. Why? Anglo-French tensions. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Montreal Conference. Uh, I'm seeing uh, potentially some greatness right here. French Empire. Oh, God. France. I, there's a reason why I have not gone to war yet. Ah. Uh, we're probably still going to use some tanks, but obviously not nearly as much as I want to use special forces. Go ahead, keep them in place. Keep them in place. Don't let them move. I'm trying to help out Spain for now. Why did you go to war now? Why? Hey, that division died. Great. Just go here and just just kind of go around them. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Carry your task forces. Uh, yeah, let's keep doing floating airfield stuff for now. Because I want to make sure that our ships are the best of the best. Just can't hang on for now. Getting to... Oh, there's someone already in Valencia. God dang it. So be it. Mm-hmm. And since we're here, are we still, you know, we don't need that. There you go, to this side now. Uh, if we do this, yeah, we do that, that's good. Really put the hurt on them now. English torpedoes found near the corpse of the Cumberland. News has come from Iceland in regards to the cause of the sinking of the HMCS Cumberland. Drivers, or divers, found an intact English torpedo that failed to detonate when it was launched against a hole of the Cumberland. The explosion was not an internal mechanical failure after all, but an insidious attempt by the English to cowardly attack us during the night. Our people clamor for revenge over the loss of our young men aboard the Cumberland who never made it to shore. The people shall be heard. Oh, more manpower. Great. Expand dockyards. Get more chromium. We're going to need it. We're going to need so much here. Awesome. It's almost 40. We can get, we get some of that stuff. Oh, God. There's so much stuff that we need to do. We haven't gotten to yet. We got that coming along. We got that coming along. Armored cars. Get some better Marines. Because we're going to have to enable invade, obviously. Probably go from Iceland to where we have to go. So, if they want to make themselves weaker, fine with me. I'm actually using military police on these guys, too. So, artillery wise, we're still out. Not ideal. Whatever. So let them escape. Let's take Valencia first. Get some more cores for our guys. Just come here first and then completely encircle them. Nice. Pretty good. Oh, they want to escape? Not today. Not, not today. If you can't win there, that's fine. Go and hold for now. Just win the battles. That's all that matters for now. Win the battles. Actually, if we go here. Oh, crap. They caught us. Beautiful. Kill them off. You should easily be able to kill them off. There you go. Can't win there? That's okay. Can hold. Alright, you gotta hurry up this up. Kill them off now before they move in here. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Seriously. God, we need more manpower. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool! So, the Montreal Conference. Members of the federal government met today with Quebec Prime Minister Maurice Duplessis and a wide assortment of French-Canadian politicians and activists in Montreal in an attempt to sort out the differences between the French and English Canadians. The topic of the conscription came up repeatedly, but overall there was a feeling that the Quebec felt as if they were an unequal partner in the Confederation. While the tempers flared several times over the course of the conference, federal delegates left feeling as if the progress had been made and that there was at least the possibility of reconciliation, provided the government was willing to give French Canadians a special status for both the French language as well as politically. Well, at least it's it's in the step in the right direction for now. So official bilingualism. French has always been present in Canada as a second language, but the first and biggest demand of the Quebec people is that it be made an official language as important as English as every governmental level across the nation and protected within the province of Quebec itself. Oh man, we lose a lot of political power, but that does help us out. We currently get point three days, so that's not bad. My goal we will go to war at the end of this, by the end of this episode. It's just my goal so that we can actually finish off the Civil War. So that we know Spain will win and they don't get bushwhacked later on. Okay, seriously. Um, I am tempted right now to actually, like, forcibly make New England go to... What the heck is going on over here? Make New England give up their lands and join the PSA. If it doesn't happen by the end of this episode, I'll just do it off screen, so... Oh, let's definitely invite them. Yes. 
Royal Address. That's kind of cool. Dominion of... Oh, shh, Nikes. 5% less stability, so be it. I don't really care. I'm going to keep war mobilization on. So, North Sea Squadron Trap. As English descend on islands, Iceland, our detachment of ships has become trapped in Icelandic ports. Any attempt to break out of the blockade would be a bloodbath. The, they are effectively trapped. God, may God help them. Oh, boy. All right, so we're actually doing really, really well building stuff. So, this is really nice. We're actually building stuff up pretty darn nicely. Uh, let's see. Build up more dockyards. We need more military factories here, too, though. Can't build any there, but so be it. Uh, over here now. 60, not bad. Build up some civilian factories, because we could use them later on, and even a bigger navy, too. So, unfortunately, we lost our American holdings, but, you know, so be it, whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, at this point, New England, New England is kind of cut out. Like, they're not my puppet anymore. I'm not sure why they're doing. This gives Pacific States agree to join. Great! We love the Pacific States. We only have 50 political power, so be it. Hey, the exiles at work. The British exiles have been hard at work in the Dominion of Canada, attempting to augment the industries of the country's industrial base with their capital and expertise. They've asked the Canadian government where they could, should focus their efforts. Civilian projects, arms, and equipment. At this point, we need more resources. Like, we don't have nearly enough steel that we really need. So, I actually, I probably have to go down to close economy eventually, so... I'm going to go with civilian projects, because I could trade off one steel for one, one civilian for one steel, maybe. Pacific States. Uh, I can't afford that much. Here's one. <laughs> Here's one. That's as much as I can possibly get right now. I'm sorry, but we have, like, nothing up here in Canada. All right, at this point, uh, go in here. Smash them to bits if you can. I'm sorry, guys. I can't help you right now. You know what? You know what would be smart? Avoid the war for now. Help out India. What if we helped out India first? Take out these guys, unify all of this part of India, which would make India stronger. Because as much as I want it, I really want to go to war. Germany's doing a really pretty good job so far, but you never know. Yeah, I'm going to make this a little different campaign than what would, what the AI would normally do. And I want to maybe help out India. Hmm, this would leave us dangerously, potentially weakened. So instead, I'm going to leave you guys out. I'm going to send all my volunteer forces to India. This is probably a really bad idea. This is weird. Why am I helping out India? Well, it's because in our, they are in our alliance. Are they my puppet? They got German volunteers, maybe. Or, yeah. Huh. We will join you soon enough. And then we'll go to war with the syndicalists. But we want to crush them before Bharatiya joins this third international. Because I, I, I imagine that Germany is not going to be able to keep, it, it's, keep up its sustained pressure on the evil syndicalist forces. Go straight in if you can. Go straight in. Oh, boy. Force them out. Force them out. Oh, he's definitely learning. Yeah, Germany, usually they just attack, attack, attack until they all die. So, them killing each other off makes these guys weaker. Makes everyone weaker over there, which is great for us. You keep attacking. There's no stop on this crazy train. You should be able to win. Because we have to break over the river. So. Good, 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 good. I'm going straight for Barcelona, if possible. Go, 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 go. Horses, move, move, move. Oh. Oh, we got so close. We were so close. I cannot afford to get encircled, though. At least hold for now. Force the attack. Force the attack. Oh, we wanted an encirclement. We were not given an encirclement. God dang it. We'll help them out anyways. Crush these enemies. The faster Spain wins the war, the faster they can join the Entente. Help us out. Cool. Come on over here, then. I'm still going to attack Barcelona. As soon as they leave, we're going in. Our spies have told us that divisions are leaving Barcelona in an attempt to help the front line out. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. Barcelona will fall without even a shot fired around the city. The fall of Barcelona, my friends. We have done it. Happy 1940. The CNT FII has fallen. The soldiers are being transported over to India. And I'm going to send some subs as well. I really should get involved in the war right now. But uh, we should be okay. German, the German defenses are not doing great. especially Oh, the PSA is over there too. Hmm. Oh, there goes Iceland. Well, crap. Whew, that is not good. That is definitely not ideal. Direct the exiles, yes, please. That'd be good. And to figure out what we want them to do. Influence, political power. Uh, we could actually probably use political power. 
Uh, give me the political power. Moderate, moderate. Hey, not bad. Royal address to the Entente. Get some more war support, which we don't need. Demobilize the economy. I don't really care. Is, isn't it with stability still going up as well weekly? No, it's not. I thought it was for some reason. Hmm. Official bilingualism. And we just lost more political power. New status. We're going to do that in a little bit. <sighs> Expand the Air Force. We should have done that before. Prepare for war. Update the Enfield. Um, yeah. There's... We don't have enough time to do all this stuff. Upgrade the fleet. Better production costs. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. New naval officers. Upgrade the fleet. Building new ships will be a problem for Canada's small shipbuilding industry. Thus, we must concentrate on upgrading those that we have, researching new parts and guns, and learning how to quickly fit them to the hulls. The only problem is I don't have enough steel for all this. I just don't. So, lower this by two, which is going to hurt us. Increase this by two. Hey, more divisions. Not yet. We're getting there. We are getting there. I promise we're getting there. Uh, your horses. There you go. That's better. Do you have any upgrades? No. Do you have any upgrades? Not really That anything that I care about. Are you guys there yet? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're out of manpower. That's not good. No, I'm not going to join the war yet. Oh, God. We have to wait. Why? France, don't. Please. France, don't attack right now. Uh, France, why do you have to attack now? Division by Division 3. Division 2 is where it's at. Division 1. God, we need more manpower. Greece and Albania. Hey, the divisions are back. Great job, guys. Great job. Uh, not you. Yeah, kind of. There you go. Oh. Very bloody world we live in. Arabia. Uninsure, unemployment insurance proposed. With complaints continuing over conditions at the labor camps, a new law has been proposed by the CCF members within the House of Commons, namely that unemployment insurance would replace the relief camps entirely. Workers and employers would pay into the system, and the unemployment would draw from the insurance to tie them over until a new job is found. It's an expensive solution, but one that can, has drawn considerable praise and support. Pass the law. More social democracy. That's not worth it. Just get rid of the camps. Uh, we're fine with the system the way it is. Mark, I don't want to lower market liberalism anymore, so we're done. The caps are done. Not bad. Actually, for now, Chile. Oh, they were where they were. I still want to make some more civilian factories so we can trade more stuff away. We gotta help out Baratia first. I really want to help him out, which is weird, which is very, very weird in my opinion, because this way we smash the hell out of the the syndicalist Indians, gives basically the Dominion of India the de facto rule up here, crush these enemies, give them their cores, they can help us and focus, focus on fighting the enemies in Europe with us. That is my goal. We don't want to start too many wars in which we are entangled all across the entire world. That would not be smart. That would not be smart at all. But let's grab some mechanized offensives. Let's see. Plane wise. Corsica, you did great. You did great, kid. Uh, come to India. I'm just going to go ahead and station you guys here. Ship wise, we have our subs. Don't need to spend anything yet. We have no manpower. We have no steel. It is quite the unfortunate situation here. Actually, with Panama, oh, I could have given it to them. Actually, they did take it back. Cool. We could give this to... Hmm. I kind of want to release them, but eh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Albania's gone. I might release them later on. We'll see what happens. Who are they led by? Galati? G Galatli. Cool. Oh, minus 4% stability. Not bad for America. Scoffy's pretty good, too. Oh my gosh, guys. Can you please hurry up? You're taking forever to get over here. Just want to join the war, man. Oh, don't tell me infrastructure is that bad. Please don't tell me. No, I can't do that yet, man. I'm sorry. Oh, they're fighting these other Indians, too. Baratia is, which is nice. All right, so we've got some divisions here. They're going to make come down here. We're going to have a blaze of glory and just destroy all the syndicalist Indians. Now, obviously, we probably won't make them run out of manpower. We just upgraded our own fleet. Yeah, they got plenty of manpower. Holy crap. Now, let's see, focus on the RCN. Better naval doctrine speed. Better production costs. Naval base, wow, that looks really good. Bonuses, blueprints, this is just too good to knock you out. Focus on the RCM. Of the three divisions of the military, the Navy is the one which requires the greatest attention. If we control the seas, then we control trade. And we can prevent invasions from being launched against our shores, which is a good thing. And then we'll probably go with the Quebec one next, just because uh, we might get more manpower out of that, so. Ooh, it, wow, we really hate market liberals, don't we, now? Wow. 
Cruiser, cruiser. Uh, carrier. I want more carriers, honestly. I think that'd be really good. Dreadnoughts, though. Dreadnoughts are really nice to get. Uh, can we upgrade this at all? Probably not. Oh, so, oh yeah, maybe so. Yeah, more armor? Yeah, stack that armor up. Fire control one's fine for now. Anti-air two. Super heavy. So nice. You're gonna get really slow, though. Over here, throw on some anti-air. Throw on some more anti-air. Throw on one of these things. Um, super heavy anti-air. So throw on just a little bit more anti-air. I really don't want to get bushwhacked with these guys. We'll probably never be able to make this, but that's okay. Happens. Come on, guys, get over there. Because the ships are over there. Subs, can you guys do this, maybe? Go ahead and go over there first. Because I'm about to send these guys into the battle, maybe. Because let's look at, look at, let's get a good look at Europe. So, oh, that is not good down there. Marines too, good. Floating airfields, good. Uh, it's 1940. Let's grab some more research speed first. Very good. And then let's grab some better artillery next. Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. We've got to wait, France. Germany is not close to falling yet. Once they are, then we're going to start panicking. And Russia's not... Oh, okay, never mind. Russia has gone to war with these guys, too. That's not ideal. Hmm. All right. What is Carlos Spain up to? Oh. Join the Entente, please. They need to do the Carlos Restoration first, though. So that'll be good. Spanish Miracle. 0.61 a day. Mm. Spanish Civil War's over. Uh, yes. We kind of... We already know that. All right. It's time to join the war against these guys. There we go. Sink what you can over there. And for the love of God, please don't die on the way over. Or whatever we do. Please don't die. You should be able to smash these guys. They shouldn't be too terribly tough. Ooh, PSA. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, son. Now we're not going to lose any sort of war support, hopefully. King Edward seen with an American celebrity. What are you doing, King Edward? His fascination with American celebrities seems to have continued with what is attendance at an increasing number of events involving them, including one recent gala in Toronto where the king was spotted in the company of an American actress by the name of Constance Bennett. This makes for the third time King Edward and the married Miss Bennett, currently married to French film director Henri de la Falaise, although the two have been reportedly separated since her flight to Canada, have been spotted in close company and rumors about the king is smitten. News of the alleged affair have lit up newspapers across Canada and so far the royal establishment has been completely mum on the subject. <sighs> Edward. What are you doing, Edward? Cool. And we don't want to forget planes. Uh, do we have an even... We don't even have an airbase close by to even help support these guys. What a bunch of garbage. Well, German Empire still owns Ceylon. Okay, so be it. Whatever. Uh, actually, you guys can help out here. I want to circle these three divisions if possible. Uh, Kino Siam joined the Code Prosperity Sphere. So be it. So be it. At least win here. Come on, come on. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Crush these two divisions. Nice. Very nice. Uh, no. We might just help out India and just re make them reclaim everything here. We're going to make a powerful Indian nation here. Can you actually win here, too? Looks like they don't have any borders, and it looks like we're doing a very nice job over here. Immediately go over the river if you can. Raipur? Yes, please. Why focus on the Third International when we could attack India? Much more fun. Much more exciting. Actually, if we could get over there... Go down there, we can cut all these divisions down south off. Perfect. Actually, we need more manpower. I need to get to service by requirement. Hmm. Germany's still holding for now. That's good. Even if we can't fight... Oh, boy. we got people over there. That's not good. We're going to not get these yet. It's just going to take time. Uh, we can't afford to get over there yet. 1940, better planes. Even though we might not be able to do super well, maybe... Germany might fall first, but as long as we have Spain, we should do relatively okay. Maybe. Maybe. That's my hope. Especially with America on our side. Okay, now they're panicking. Good, kill them off. Kill every single one of them off. Yeah, maybe not this group. We don't want to attack over a river. That'd be very bad. Help support the attack, too. Crush them here. And move in, move in, move in. We got 847 guys. And they're really going to go help out the soldiers at the front, probably. Nice. Very nice. They've been wounded here, too. That's good. Good. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, we lost a sub in exchange for a convoy. Well, that sucks. 
Do you actually have any upgrades before we continue? Yes. Seawall, Silent Hunter, Torpedo Reveal Chance, Screen Penetration. Uh, I want to go with Torpedo Cool... I like that Torpedo Cooldown. I really like the Torpedo Cooldown. So let's go with Screen Penetration. Uh, so many subs are going to come out of this guy. These guys' subs. Oh. Nice. Let them starve for supplies. They don't need it where they're going. Kill them off. Make sure that the Princely Federation doesn't win here either. Good. Very good. Crush them. Nice. Focus on the RCN. Great. And let's do new status for Quebec. To resolve the situation in Quebec, we must amend their status within the Confederation. They're not a province like any other, but have a unique status and thus unique requirements. Providing them greater powers of their own immigration policies and greater say over the government if policies that affect them directly will finally tell them we are serious about equality. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know, no guarantees. Come on, push them, punish them, punish them, punish them. Oh boy. Hey, we actually still got another convoy. Great job, subs. Great job. As long as Germany doesn't lose yet, that's all that matters to me. Fuel refining, awesome. Rubber extraction, yes. Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and lower this by one more. We're doing okay on fuel for now. But we'll get another steal then. Nice. They're completely cut off. Attack them down here too. If that's the case, what if we just got rid of all the fuel that we need? Not bad. Helps out. Definitely. 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 The revolution in the West... Oh, crap. In the West Indies, it seems that the mismanagement of the West Indies has finally come to a flashpoint. The long suppressed socialist movement in the Indies has been angered greatly by greatly by recent upheavals. Triggering a revolution across the West Indies, a syndicalist transitional government under the Tubal Oraya's Butler's British Citizens and Workers Home Rule Party has been instituted. Our general governor has been ousted from his seat in Kingston, and now we face the possibility of an international outpost right on our doorstep. We face a difficult choice. Withdrawing will surely see the rebels aligned with our hated enemies in the Home Isles, home isles yet a campaign in the Caribbean could take up vital resources for the reclamation of the Isles. Uh, we're going to kill them off. Are you kidding me? That's why we'll have two divisions here. Actually, four divisions here. We're going to have to invade these sons of bitches and get rid of them. Uh, actually, come from straight from here and invade the island. Uh, let's see. Anyone else? Uh, you guys can come from. Not down there. Mm, you can come from Panama, actually, probably. And attack them right there. That'd be good. That'd be very good. We probably only need one group really here to do this, so take off, take off, take off, and come down here. Oh, we've been... Oh, Central America has been called as well. Alright, alright, you know. As long as they don't join the one faction, I'm kind of okay with this. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Just kill these guys off. They're, they can't do anything here against us. There you go. Now, all of you guys, we got to reform the front line. Make ourselves stronger where we need to really be. And take out Calcutta, eventually. Nice. Another sub gone. Wow. Our guys are doing quite a good job down here. They keep losing more convoys. Do you have any more upgrades? No, you're barely learning, but that's okay. Keep spewing them submarinos, boys. You're doing a great job. Don't let them in. 71. Now, I'd like to attack more and more and more and more, but we got to be smart about attacks. What's going on around here? Oh! We sent some destroyers. That's why I sent my fleet over here. Good. Get ready to invade, boys. These despicable degenerates cannot be allowed to live. We could try a general attack, but we're out of manpower, so that's not a good idea. Come here. You should be able to win right there. Nice. How's Germany doing in Europe? Uh, they're kind of holding. The Eastern Front is not doing great. The Western Front, well, it's going okay. So I'm not too worried then. More convoys? Yes, please. Nice. If we get a strike right here, that would be ideal. Good. If we can circle these guys at Patna, that would be awesome as well. Um, no, I'm okay for now. I know it seems weird that I'm not attacking or helping attack, but that's okay. You guys are attacking over there. Not sure if I'd really agree with those types of attacks, but you know what? Over here I can get along with.
Don't worry about it for now. I'm, we've got to make sure we win right here. That's the most important thing. Win right here, and we'll be okay. Let's circle these. Oh, Chilean nationalist Chile. It's helping out syndicalists. What the heck? All right, you guys ready to go? Oh, you need uh, another thing right here. You guys do that. There we go. Hopefully they win. Hopefully they don't lose. Hopefully they don't die over there. We'll see what happens. All right, so what's going on here? Why can't we not win? Right, we're probably not leading the division. Oh, we're fighting over a river, but that's not the entire story. I bet. Two Sicilies is gone. That's not good. Come on. Seriously. Don't make me do an entire full-scale attack across the entire front. That's going to be a piss-poor idea. But we're going to do it anyways, because why not? Okay, so let's stop that, because attacking here is one of the dumbest things we could do. You guys get over here. Bring it up. Oh, we lost three goddamn subs. Jesus Christ, that's not good. Uh, come on, invade, invade, invade. Oh, no, we already did invade. Oh, we won. Kill them off. Uh, do they have other islands? Oh, Port of Spain. Oh, that sucks. Oh, uh, you guys come from here and invade the Port of Spain. You should be able to do that pretty easily. And then you guys do basically the same thing. Come right here and invade, uh, let's see, right there. Nice. Let's see, could probably use a little more fuel. Uh, naval doctrine is always good to continue doing. More carrier organization is absolutely necessary. Come on. We should be able to win down here. Don't give me this excuse that we cannot win down here at all. I know we can. Uh, invest in Australasia? Uh, I'll do America. Pacific States, to be more exact. Yeah, this is stupid. How could you not win? Oh, the Kingdom of Spain wants to join the Entente? Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright, let's just reform the front line, because this is stupid. This is beyond stupid. Come on. You should be able to win easily. Don't don't attack anymore. It was a waste of lives. Complete waste of lives. Why do we let the Indians begin the attack? Uh, but we have special status for Quebec. Agreement has finally been reached on a solution that, for now, will see Quebec a little more willing a participant in the federal government's goals. They've been granted certain privileges unique to the province, the ability to control immigration and exert controls over French language use, powers that are normally reserved for the federal government itself. While there are many English Canadians who consider this a bribe, and will have to go through the long process of amending the Canadian Constitution, most are pleased enough to have the conflict over with, at least for now. Quebec Premier Maurice D. is calling this a victory and has been busy selling it to the French Canadians, so for the time being, the conflict with Quebec appears to be over. Anglo-French peace. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Quebec in flames, okay. Uh, British exiles, that's fine. So, at least we don't ha suffer too much. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Cool. Uh, next up, we shall do... I'd love to do the Fuller plan. Motorized armor. That's not bad, but we're really focusing on other stuff down here. Supply consumption. We're going to go with the Vanier plan. Joseph Vanier, a respected commander of the Canadian Corps during the Great War, proposes a theory of warfare developed from his experiences on the Western Front. His approach emphasizes, or emphasizes training and equipment quality so that every man of ours is worth at least three of theirs. Well, we'll see what happens. Are we ready to go? Let's go, 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 go. we got to get rid of these enemy divisions. Ah, oh, good. Quebec and Flames is gone. Attacking here would be obviously the most optimal thing, but as we've discovered, we can't really do that. So instead, you guys are going to come down here. You should be able to win. Annual IDEC review. Go and invest in more of that. You guys continue to push these enemies back because they're looking like they're starting to hurt quite a bit, which is good. Uh, assist for the economy. We're going to go and just do that one. We need more output. I want more of everything. Oh, boy. Go ahead and leave that area if you can. Artillery is not looking bad. That'll save us on a couple divisions, hopefully. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Smash them. I want to finish this episode by taking Calcutta. That is what I would really love to see right now. Go ahead and push these guys back. Push them back. We got attacked in the best areas. Let's come back over here to the Caribbean. Have we landed? No, but we're going. Good. We have not failed yet. Better research speed. We could get better radar. Ooh, oh, oh yeah. Let's get some field hospitals. Up. Do we have field hospitals that are guys ready? Some, yes. Some definitely, yes. Nice. Very nice, actually. Can I request garrison support from the Pacific States of America? Uh, we don't really need more foreign... What do you mean we don't need more foreign manpower? Have you seen the garrisons or the reserve of manpower? What are you talking about? Oh, boy, there's a lot of divisions down here. Come on, get in, get in, get in, get in. Great job, guys. Cut these guys off. Help them out, too. 
Nope. As long as they don't invade the French Empire, I'm kind of okay. Alright, so we got to keep pushing down this way first. Uh, I'd love to attack here, but we can't really afford it yet. Two, two, uh, there's only two divisions. That might be worth trying to strike. We might be able to win, actually. Come on, win. Good. We can finally cut the city off. Three. Oh, no. Two. Oh, there goes the Central American Confederation. Uh, we'll give it to probably all of Mexico, because we weren't really fighting them. Yeah, we weren't really fighting them, so... There you go, Mexico. Have fun with that. So we can't... We're sort of winning down here. Get all the way down here if you can. Just push. But you're going to go this way. Can we actually win? Do we win? Not yet. Not yet. We might not win. We might. We might not. Let's see what happens. Can't pierce us. We are fighting over... Oh, you know, ocean, so... Come on. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Ooh, just... The fall of Rome, how will the Papal States ever recover from this? Well, we'll see what happens. Papal States are gone. Okay, I told you that, too. Alright, so you guys are coming right down there. You're going to go this direction. Great. We even circle those guys. Go ahead and begin the decimation of this enemy. And you help out. Yeah. No peace. Oh, we get off those enemy uh, volunteers. That's a great, great thing. Good, good, good. Ooh, invest. Yes, invite them in. And we'll do Spain, or we'll do ourselves first. So, Idic Investment. Uh, civilian factories, just so we can trade them away for more resources. Because, my goodness, we could really use them. Holy crap. That'll be good. So, now we can actually build more stuff here. Oh, yeah, we definitely need more stuff. This, that'll be good. Artillery's okay. Tanks, we can do one more. We can lower that by one, maybe. Because we need some carrier fighters and stuff like that. Kingdom of Spain and Greece joined. Awesome. Awesome, we got rid of those guys there. Three, two, unleash hell on the entire front. We should be able to win. Should. Did you actually win? No, uh, you did pretty good job, though. Did a pretty darn good job. You guys are going to come from here, though, and invade Port au Prince. No, Spain. Spain, Papa. Port of Spain. Yeah, they are losing some serious strength. Those militias and those infantry divisions, that's nice. Uh, go when you can. We should have more than enough time. Oh, we lost a sub. That sucks. Killed a convoy, but whatever. Come on, come on, come on. Crush them. They, I, I can't just imagine they have that many more guns left. Good. Go straight down there if you can. Cut these guys off in the south. Supply-wise, it's going to be pretty not great, but that's okay. I want to finish off Calcutta. We must have a strong India. Must. Organic elements preparing for war. More war support would not be bad. Man oh, let's get some manpower. Preparations for war. We have waited more than a decade for a second chance of taking on the syndicalist traitors. The time has come for us to seriously consider what we need to do, what we need to sacrifice in order to achieve that goal. Cool. Yeah, you guys can help out right there if you really want to. That's fine. Crush them at every turn. Even though it would be best if we just move down here. But that's just me. Cool. Another convoy sunk. Do I like the green. The army is looking not terrible. Could just could use so much more manpower, though. My goodness. Come on, get in there. I'm not sure what you're helping. The legation cities ask for protection, though the legation cities have a web of international guarantees of their security. Obviously, these are not enough for them. They've approached the British Crown for protection, and they claim there will be a strong bulwark of our alliance in East Asia. Many Parliament, however, claim that this would only expose us to attack by the Japanese. It's a bit risky. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Can't do it. Besides, you didn't, we don't have authority over you really anymore anyway, so it is what it is. Help out, help out. Yeah, they must be doing a last stand down here, because holy crap, they're looking weak. They are looking incredibly weak. And if they... No, nope, they're not doing it, because their organization goes down. So they're not doing it. Okay. So be it. Crush them at every turn. But you hold. We don't want to get encircled ourselves. I know it's important for us to go there. I know. We killed three destroyers. Nice. Did you not... Did y'all go or not? They must have went and lost or something. Mr. Happy Man, I'm gonna ruin you. I could just invade over there, actually. Let's do that instead. There you go. We'll go when everyone's ready again. So it gives it a little bit more time. Oh, we cut these guys off. Beautiful! That was completely my intention. Kotak? Yeah, you're not gonna win there. We're so close to Calcutta. We're 
we literally touch Calcutta. We could break over and kill them off. We would, but we can't right now. Come on, finish these guys off. They're not that strong. Oh, they got a little tanks down there, though. Tibet is gone. Improved rubber processing. Great. Get some fuel gain. That'd be good. Mechanized defenses. Shocking all it is. Beautiful. Oh, we lost the sub. God dang it. Good. Crush them. Crush them. We're attacking Calcutta, which I think is a crazy idea, but we, if we can do it, go ahead. The preservation of a greater India. Wow. 12 divisions trapped down here. Begin the assault. Begin more of an assault. Beautiful. Now that we didn't get that. That's, that's whatever. Hey, we got Calcutta. That's what I wanted by the end of this episode. But we need Dhaka as well. So give our guys some time. Let them get some more planning bonus. And let's see, keep an eye on this stuff. You guys go right ahead. They won't be able to do too much. We're going to bait them again. Sink the convoys. 900 more guys. Not bad. Not great. You got to raise your conscription level though. Which sucks. Over here, we lost another stuff. We're going to lose all our stuff. God dang it. Alright, so we invaded here. Go and help out the attack. Yeah, we should do well here. British, Canadians, Marines. Can't be beat. See some of that. That'd be good. Go ahead and improve the ones we currently have. That'd be good. We need so much god dang steel. Holy crap. And with the tanks helping out, arriving on the shores, should have no problem. We literally just killed off an enemy division. Time to go to hell. Alright, let's finish off India. We gotta get to Dhaka. We've lost. Actually, we're calling everyone. Oh, got that done. 37,000 versus... We've killed off over a third of a million there. And over 130,000 West Indians. What did they expect? But rally the exiles. There are over a million British exiles currently living in Canada. We must rally them and get them every able-bodied Brit in the army at once. It's their home that we're fighting for. And if they want their children and grandchildren to grow up in the UK, then they need to act now. I'm not going to attack with zero manpower for a force like that. Hey, we won. Um, How? How? How do they still have access? How are they not dead yet? Seriously? Wait, why can't I make... I can't do a naval invasion? Game, what's going on? Okay, now I can. Okay, what the heck? Oh, my goodness. Just in case you guys come from here as well, and just invade... Uh, that area. Before I forget, let's do this. Take you off, and put you right there. How much more do we have to do to capitulate these guys? Jesus Christ, that takes so long. Ah, uh, Baratia is almost done, though. That is so nice to see. Get rid of them. And this gave our... Actually, our divisions quite a bit of experience. They're looking pretty darn nice. Except the open holes, because we don't have enough manpower. But whatever. Go straight for Dhaka. Or D Dhaka? Dhaka? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not an Indian. Go, go, go! Only militias are... D oh! Mm, what's going on? Oh, Prince of Federation. You're gonna, they're going to basically promise me a good time. Okay, we got the capital. They should be done. They have to be done. There we go. Great! Now, it'll be nice. And the Princely Federation can have like that and that. But that's it. If that's the case, why are you training right now? Please go to war. Please go to war. How long is it going to take them to go to war? Inside Kashmir to Rebellion? Um... Maybe, maybe not. We're currently at war. I want to... Uh, this video's gone on quite a bit. But we might be able to invade them over there. How's Germany doing? They're just still doing okay. They're actually advancing. That's kind of remarkable, honestly, to see that. Uh, yes, we'll do that. The Russians are advancing as well, which is not good. So, we'll call in Spain soon enough, but not yet. I want to destroy the rest of the Indian rebels down there first. This way we have no... Or nothing to fear in Asia. Oh come on, really? You gotta, you gotta give it your all. Take out Georgetown. You gotta capitulate them now, Marines. I can understand like this, maybe, but no, no. You gotta force the attack. These are veteran divisions, and you guys are pretty good as well. Not the best, but not bad. Is the number slowly going up, but still red? Good hospital, nice. That'll save some more guys' lives. 1940. Go ahead and grab... Do we have this going? No, we already have that done. Get some more uh, soft attack. Be good. Come on, take Georgetown. Georgetown. Beautiful. They, now they should capitulate. There's no excuse for them to not capitulate. There we go. We've got them. 
beautiful. And that's going to conclude today's episode, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. We've done not too bad. It's 1940. We have not invaded yet, but by the next episode, we will invade the Third International because they're not doing great. But I hope you enjoyed it, like, regardless. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we all have more, more Warfare, and I'll unite New England with a PSA. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.